First, we will plug the USB into the computer. Then proceed to format to clean the USB. After formatting the USB, we will remove the USB from the computer and plug it into the HMI. Proceed to turn off the HMI and restart it. You can press and hold on the screen if the screen does not automatically open the settings interface. Press setting to enter the settings interface. Continue to press service and commissioning. Select the backup function, then choose complete backup to capture all files of the HMI. Continue to press. Next, a USB device should appear here. If the USB device does not appear, you can press start, search. Select the USB and press next. Here you can add a new folder in the USB. You can also select a folder and click the trash icon to delete it. Press next. Press accept and proceed with the backup process. At this point, the system will run the backup program to create an image file. We wait for the backup process to complete successfully. This process can be fast or slow depending on the HMI program. When the backup is successful, the system will display a message, success. We exit the installation program and remove the USB from the HMI. Now, Plug the USB back into the computer to retrieve the backup program. This is the HMI backup file, which you can save for future use to run the restore program. To restore, we need to format the USB first. Copy the previously backed up file to the USB. After copying, remove the USB from the computer and plug it into the HMI. Proceed to turn off and restart the HMI. Press setting. Press service and commissioning. Select the restore function. If the USB is not found, you can press the search button. Press next to continue. Now, the store file should appear. Select the file and press next. Press accept to start the restore process. Now, we just need to wait for the restore process to complete. When the restore is successful, the screen will automatically restart. Now, we have successfully restored using the USB.